Hello everybody, my name is Ruxandra and welcome to another video of r, &R Partners Bucharest. Today we're going to talk about the two main types of Romanian companies, SRLs, Limited Liability Companies, and PFAs, Sole Entrepreneurships. Just as a quick disclaimer, these are not the entire uh, types of Romanian companies, there are also a few uh, more types, for example, the joint stock company, the SA. This uh, company is more used for um, more advanced um, um, corporations, for example, if you want to trade on the stock uh, exchange, then you need this type of company. But we will not talk about this because we want to focus on uh, the startups and what type of company you would want to choose at the beginning of your uh, entrepreneurship journey. And also there's another type of company called SRLD. This is for the debutant uh, SRLs, but it does not really have uh, that many advantages as compared to the SRLs, so we will not talk about it separately. But uh, going back to the matter at hand, what uh, is the best type of company for you to choose in the very beginning? Is it the SRL or is it the PFA? Uh, first of all, we should talk about each of them and what it represents. Um, the SRL, as we just mentioned, is a limited liability company, which means that when you open this company, uh, whatever you have as um, liability in the company is limited to the amount of money that you put in the company. For example, if I were to open an SRL tomorrow and I only have 200 lay in the company, uh, then the liability, if I have any contracts that I have to pay or if I go in any debt, then those uh, people cannot come after me, after my own money, but can only take the 200 lei that I put in the company. That is limited liability. Compared to the SRL, the PFA is an entirely different structure. Uh, when you have a PFA, this uh, type of company is about the same thing as you as a person. If you have any creditors, then the creditors can of course come after your own money. That is the main difference from the SRL. But it can also be an advantage because if you have a PFA in the very beginning and you want to access the money, you can just take it from the company without paying dividends to yourself. If you have an SRL and you want to access the money that you got uh, um, after selling goods or after delivering any products, then you must pay dividends to yourself uh, each year or each three months. On the other hand, when you have a PFA, if, for example, I want to, uh, to go and buy groceries um, from the market, then I can just take money from my own company and use them. I do not have to pay myself dividends for it. So, in a nutshell, it is easier if you don't have any other sources of income to have a PFA because you can use the money immediately after you get it from your clients. But if you maybe have some money aside or you maybe have also a main job, then the SRL is a great uh, structure for you. Another very important thing is that in the SRL you can have more people in the company from the very beginning. In the PFA, as uh, we mentioned in the beginning, it's a sole entrepreneurship. So me, Ruxandra, can only have my PFA. I can have employees if I want, there is no problem, but they cannot be associates or directors in my company. On the other hand, if I have an SRL and I want to associate with a friend or if my, uh, with my spouse, I can do that and we can have shares in the company. I can have like 50% or 25% and they can have the rest which is uh, very good when you want to associate with people and maybe uh, share the burden of a company uh, startup. But after talking about uh, liability and also about uh, how many people can be involved in a company, it's time to uh, speak about the third thing, but many times the most important one, which of these companies pays the less taxes? Here it is pretty straightforward. The SRL is by far the best way to go in terms of taxes. The SRL only pays 1% um, tax on the revenue, the total revenue in the company, if you have at least one employee, or if you have no employees, it's just you at the beginning and maybe a few friends or not, then you pay 3% on the entire company revenue. This does not take into account the, um, any expenses that you have in the company, but the entire revenue in its full. 
Even so, it is a very good deal. It's, in Romania, we have one of the best taxation systems in that regard uh, compared to Europe or even the States and other, uh, in other countries. But on the other hand, if you want to have a PFA, then um, it's a bit different. You will pay around one third of your income on uh, taxes. The only difference is that on the PFA, you can also deduct your expenses. So you do not pay taxes on the entire revenue that you get. So in the very beginning, if you have many expenses, like maybe if you have some products that you must buy to, uh, to offer your services, then you can deduct, deduct those and it will be very efficient for you tax-wise. But to wrap it up, from our experience, the SRL is by far better than the PFA. Even if the PFA offers some benefits, like you will have pension from your PFA, you will have social security without paying uh, this uh, separately, um, even those expenses totally amount to, uh, to a lot more. And many people go to the SRL because it's cheaper. And speaking of cheap, both companies are about the same price when you want to incorporate. It's not really um, less expensive or easier to have either a PFA or an SRL. Both of them are registered at the trade registry, so the same institution takes care of all types of companies. So uh, it's about the same thing uh, as in incorporation uh, taxes and expenses. One of the most um, common uh, questions that we get from clients when they want to open a company is, can I have a PFA or an SRL if I am a foreigner? And the answer is yes, you can have those types of companies. But the only problem is if you want to have a PFA and you do not have a CNP, a number registered in, uh, in the official Romanian authorities or a NIF, which is a, another type of number, a tax number. If you don't have any of those, then you cannot open a PFA. But if you want to open an SRL and maybe you don't even live in Romania, you just want to have a company here because the taxation system is so advantageous, then you can, uh, of course, open one. There is no problem if you are a foreigner, even a non-EU citizen or an EU, it doesn't matter. And even if we are speaking about startups, a very common question we get is, which is the best type of company if I want to have an exit at some point? Maybe I don't want to have this company forever, maybe I want to sell it, or I want to get investors into my company. And here it's again very simple. The SRL, the Limited Liability Company, is by far the best solution in your case, because a PFA cannot really be transferred to another person. That type of company is very linked to you, you as sole entrepreneur, and you cannot pass the, the company to someone else. But in the SRL, as I mentioned, you have shares, you can uh, buy them, sell them, and it's very easy to, uh, to sell the company if you want to uh, go in Bali at some point and live your life freely, or maybe if you want to, uh, to grow and have an investor get money into your company. And speaking of uh, Bali and uh, living the best of your life, um, another very um, uh, good thing about the PFA in regards to taxes is that in a very um, um, a specific case, if you are um, an IT guy, if you work in IT and in um, very other few cases, you can have a thing called Norma de Venit. This is a type of taxation that is very advantageous. Uh, irrespective of how much money you make on the company, you pay about the same uh, amount in taxes. So um, in the beginning, when you want to open a company, be sure to talk to your accountant or your lawyer and tell them what your plans are for that company, because they might recommend you the PFA in uh, certain specific cases for the taxation benefits. So to wrap it up, what is the best type of company to open in the very beginning? The answer really depends from person to person. As uh, we just mentioned, if you want to grow your company, you don't want it to be very linked to you, you want maybe other associates, you want to have many activities on your company, then uh, and also to, to have the least taxation possible, then the SRL is the way to go. But if you're in the beginning, you maybe never think about selling your company to, to somebody else. Maybe you are on the Norma de Venit, that very specific type of taxation that is very good. And if you want to access your money as fast as possible and as regularly as possible, then maybe the PFA is the solution for you.
Just a quick advice at the end, whatever way you go, make sure that you do your research correctly because we have many cases of clients who came to us, for example, with an SRL and later found out that the PFA was very good for their position and they wanted to change or the other way around. They wanted to have from the PFA to be converted to an SRL. Be sure that this type of conversion is not possible. So if you begin as an SRL from the beginning, you cannot have it as a PFA later. You'll have to close your company and then open another one and it can be quite tiresome. You can lose some money and time uh, uh, in this process. So make sure that you get uh, the right advice for starting your company. This is about it for today. I hope you enjoyed our video. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comment section below. Also, make sure to um, follow us on social media. You have all the links uh, in the description of the video. And check out our other videos as well. We post very frequently about immigration matters and commercial matters. And uh, if you have any uh, more complicated questions, make sure to drop us a line um, via email. You have all the details in the description. Have an awesome day. Bye.